Leute, wir machen direkt weiter mit Vampyr. Ähm, ja, was ist letzte Folge passiert? Wir haben den Maskalon Club Bericht erstattet. Wir haben gegen Mrs. Fletcher gekämpft. Und jetzt hat uns Lord Redgrave den Auftrag gegeben, ähm, quasi Aloysius Dawson zu unserem Abkommen zu machen, der da drüben wohnt. Ja, und jetzt haben wir Zweifel quasi, ob wir das tun sollten. It's locked. Ach, Mann. Komme ich dann rein? Muss ich aber quer durch den ganzen Garten, ne? Ja, ich ich sollte einen anderen Weg finden, um in die Nähe Wie? Hier durch? Ja. So, warte mal. Das ist ein Skell. Finden Sie einen Weg äh, an, wir finden Sie einen Gang, um den Ganzen äh, zu umgehen, okay. Jetzt wir das. Gut, jetzt bin ich hier. Da ist wieder irgendwo was. Ja, Beste. Komm. Mach keine Faxen. eben lang gelaufen. Dann muss es da quasi sein, wo... Warum ist da... Da war es gar schon mal langsam hier. Perfekt. 
Mrs. Mark. So, gehören die nicht alle zum Askalon Club eigentlich? Warum greifen die sagen Jan? Das kapiere ich nicht, aber auch egal. So, Kanalisation bei der Tempel, bla bla. Okay. Wo geht's hier lang? So, was gibt's hier? Ähm. Um. I cannot enter. Das geht's nicht. Da geht's nicht lang. Give me your blood. Leo und August. Ein Wohlkotz. A few moments later. Ah, oh, Leute. Anstrengend. Okay. Die Gewalt der Wohlkotz. Ähm. Lasst euch niemals von der Größe eines Wirkers täuschen. Diese kräftigen Wasser sind so flink wie jeder andere Blutsauger, können aber auch genauso ausgeschaltet werden, wie sie nagel ihre verrotteten Kadaver auf den Boden fest, bevor sie über Hau, äh, bevor ihr sie enthauptet. Äh, merkt euch, am wichtigsten ist es, sich zu äh, vorzubereiten und die Schwächen eures Feindes zu kennen. Das Problem ist nur, Wirkels haben natürlich keine Schwächen. Sie sind stark, schnell, wachsam und tödlich. Sie sind Tötungsmaschinen mit nur einem Ziel. Sie wollen auch euch mit ihren riesigen Klauen an den Hals. Wenn einer von euch Kerlen also das Pech hat, jemals einem Wirkel zu begegnen, merkt euch das, weicht aus und macht es wütend, verletzt es, beschimpft es und macht es äh, fuchsteufelswild. Das Hirn des Wirkels schaltet sich aus, wenn es Ey, ihr es genug Pi sagt. Sie denken nicht mehr nach und greifen nur noch blind an. Ihr könnt nur gewinnen, wenn ihr, ihr sie einen. Er ist so einen taktischen Vorteil gegen das dumme Biest erlangt. Nutzt diesen Vorteil. Was kennt eure Feinde von Karl Eldritch Anführer der Waffen Priven? Okay. Da geht er zugrunde. Gut. Lang, genau. Das ist da oben. Was gibt es hier? Ach, das war die Abkürzung. Okay. Gut. Dann. Ja, hier lang. Hier lang geht. Was geht? Was gibt es hier so? Nichts von Interesse. Okay. Ach, wieder sowas. Na? Warte mal, ich muss erstmal angucken, was das überhaupt ist. Dann kommen wir schon mal weiter. It's locked, all right. Okay. Damit geht dann aber auch der Wasser noch nicht. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Ich verstehe. Ja gut, okay, das ist ja leicht. Ja, okay, gut. Ich dachte, ich muss, kann irgendwie da unten noch hin. So. Jetzt dort hin. Oh Mann. Mann. Ich doch mal hier. Ja, 
Sag mal. Wenn ich jetzt hier krepiere, Alter. Mir reicht's. Pfahl. Gib mir den Pfahl wieder. So, komm mal her. Komm her. Mann, es reicht doch mal hier. Ja, fuck noch, you. Whatever. Ah, so. Jetzt. So. Okay. Und wo geht's jetzt lang dann? Ich hab's aufgeschlossen. Und... Da lang. Ah, warte mal. Irgendwie dort. Oben. Hä? Komm ich da jetzt hier rauf? Kann ich die Tür nicht öffnen. Und der Wasserstand zu niedrig ist, okay. Habe ich verstanden. Ja, okay, dann kann ich jetzt hier lang. Dort lang. Dann hier lang. Okay. So wird ein Schuh draus. Oh Gott. Halbe Weltreise machen, um den Typen zu befinden hier. Okay. Komm. Okay. Temple Church. Sehr schön. Hier kann ich durch. Ja, Kantin, ich weiß. Temple Garden. Ist hier mit neuen? Nee, warte mal. Ich muss... Nee, ich muss in die Richtung, ne? Nee, hä? Wo muss ich hin? Ja, doch in die Richtung, ja. Da war ich doch richtig. Wer ist das? Good evening, sir. May I ask you what you're doing here at this late hour? I'm conducting an investigation about the epidemic in this part of town. And who are you, sir? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed from the Pembroke Hospital. May I ask who you are and why all the questions? I'm Detective Inspector Charles Albright from Scotland Yard. And I don't find your answers convincing. What is a Pembroke doctor doing in the West End at this time of night? I work for the Ascalon Club. Here is my permit to go freely about the city. The Ascalon Club? You should have said so, sir. I must warn you, these streets are dangerous. 
And you'd better be careful. Okay, das ist krank. Kann ich nicht aussaugen. What are you investigating exactly? I currently have a few missing persons cases. Mr. Tadao Kamura and Miss Louise Teasdale. I'm afraid they may have been abducted by my mysterious maniac. Tell me about Louise Teasdale. She's a waitress. Our father reported her missing. We don't have enough men to search for her, sadly. Do you have any idea where she could be? No. But I feel she's been abducted. She went to a pub a few nights ago and vanished. I thought about the sewers, but I'm not equipped for such an investigation. Tell me about Mr. Kimura. Mr. Kimura is a businessman who has been missing for a few days. He didn't go home, didn't go to work, didn't go back to his family. Where was he last seen? Mr. Kimura was last seen at the Royal Observatory in Greenwich. I followed a possible lead in the West End, but I found nothing. What are you really doing here? I told you. I'm a detective inspector from Scotland Yard. Investigating suspicious cases in the area. What about the situation in the East End? Why are there no police there to protect the civilians? I know, it's a shame, but we just don't have enough men to cover the entire city. Do you work alone? Yes. The situation is difficult for the police. Many of us are sick, and since the summer strike, most men apply a work to rule on their patrols. What can you tell me about this district? I'm the one asking questions, especially when there's a killer on the loose. What killer? I'm not going to discuss that with the civilians, sir. Haven't I told you about the investigation I'm conducting? Perhaps I could help you. All right, without giving you too much information, I'll tell you this. I'm convinced there is a homicidal maniac on the loose, using the epidemic to disguise his kills. And what about the epidemic? We both know the situation is critical, don't we, Doctor? Colleagues of mine die almost every day. Why are you investigating at night? Criminals rarely act in daylight, you know. But since you are also a night worker, have you noticed anything strange which requires police attention? I'd like to report a name, Inspector. Jeffrey McCullum. I'm afraid he's some sort of vigilante trying to recruit an army of angry citizens. Then I'll write the name down and transmit this intelligence to the appropriate office. Thank you, sir. Okay, so Do you need medical, medical attention, attention, Inspector? I'm afraid I may have caught something. You'll quickly feel better. Thank you, Doctor. Do you know anything in particular about a man called Aloysius Dawson? Who doesn't know the man? I think he intervened personally to put an end to the police strike of last August. What else can you tell me about him? Aloysius Dawson is exactly the kind of powerful and influential man who could commit murder and get away with it. With just one phone call. Okay. Tell me all you know about that homicidal maniac you're looking for. I'm not even sure there is only one. The wounds are always the same, but the modus operandi varies. Sometimes violent and brutal, sometimes precise and swift. How could different killers inflict the same wounds? That's my main problem. If my theory is correct, maybe we're facing a group of individuals sharing the same violent tendencies. Perhaps a sadist cult. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye, Dr. Jonathan. Good. Wer ist das dort? Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. Can I be of assistance? Dr. Reed? Dr. Reed? Is there anything wrong? No, it's just... Your name sounds familiar. And your face. Have we met before? I think I would remember. So I suppose the answer is no. That's odd. I'm certain I've already heard of you. My name is Pericles Baker. Does that mean anything to you? I'm afraid not, sir. But it's a pleasure to meet you anyway. Hmm. The pleasure is mine, I guess. I only wish I could remember when it was that we met. Okay, Zelda. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Baker. What are you doing out here in the middle of the night? We are waiting. Waiting for someone. And why are you waiting for this person? Because we need to leave this city. 
as soon as possible. Why do you want to leave the city? I'm not really sure. Either. Can you tell me anything about this district? As you like asking questions so much, would you allow me to ask you one first? Please, be my guest. Do you like this city? The... I know we are not living in the most peaceful of times, but I have learned to appreciate London's complexity. Yes, me too. This city tests us. It invites us to find ourselves, to discover our true nature scattered throughout its dark streets. But what if we don't like what we find? Do we ever know who we are? I wonder sometimes. Or maybe it is the journey to find out who we are that changes us. And what do you do, okay. sir? For a living, that is. I stopped working when I decided to leave. When I realized what I wanted. Wanted something this city can't provide. Tell me more about why you want to leave London, then. I just... don't belong here anymore. I had to convince my brother to leave London because I know we need to find another life out of the city. But what were you doing before you took this decision? Does it really matter anymore? Considering the past seems so pointless to me. I have lived in this city all my life. And now I think... It's over. Uh-huh. Who are you waiting for? I'm sure he has a name. I really can't answer that question, since I don't know that person. And why is that? This person is mostly my brother's acquaintance. I don't even know his real name. Only that this man could help us leave this city once and for all. But why would you need this person's help to leave London anyway? Well... I thought we should have left this cursed place already, but my brother convinced me to stay a while longer, and here we are. Uh -huh. What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? I've heard this is a man who has searched for his place in the world for a long time. I hope he found it. Yeah. Okay. Goodbye. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Do you need my help? Yes, please. Would you be kind enough to tell me what the time is? That's all you need to know. Well, is it not important to know? As important as where you are? Or who you are? I suppose you're right. And who are you then, sir? I am Agamemnon Baker. Like my brother, I think we need to leave this city immediately. And my brother and I rarely agree on anything. Wow. Who are you waiting for, exactly? The more I think about it, the more I believe it's not exactly a person we are waiting for. But what else could it be, then? I don't know. A feeling? An event? An impulse? How can I tell? Something that would allow us to leave this trap. I'm afraid I'm not following you. What kind of trap are you talking about? Have you ever felt like life trapped you in a role that does not fit you? That you're not in your place. That sort of trap. Trap? And you think leaving London will free you? At least it will give us the chance to be free. That's more than our present situation. Hope, Doctor. Hope is what truly drives mankind. Yeah. May I ask what you're doing outside at this hour of night? I don't know. You should ask my brother instead. It was his idea in the first place. You must have your own ideas. From what I have managed to understand, I guess we're supposed to wait here. Waiting for someone to come. May I ask? Oh, yeah, you must... From what? What can you tell me about this part of town? It's the only place I've considered myself happy. Or at least that's what I believe. Unfortunately, it's time to leave. Why is that? Because I'm not feeling happy here anymore. Are you? I still enjoy living in London, no matter how difficult it can be sometimes. Then I am sincerely happy for you. True happiness in life seems to be the most difficult goal to reach these days. What can you tell me about your brother? He's older than me, I think. But the important thing is that I really hope I'll die before him. Grief would just kill me, you know? Is that all? Pericles is very attached to this city, and without my insistence, he would never leave this place. We don't often agree on anything, you see. May I ask why you've not gone already, if 
you're so exasperated by this long wait? I believe fear is holding us back. My brother would have said it's laziness, but it's just because he's prouder than I am. What can you tell me? You should ask that question to my brother instead. Personally, I've not seen Aloysius for many years. Goodbye. Ganz kurz mal. Good evening. Pericles, tell me why your brother disagrees with your presence here. Agamemnon is naive sometimes. Although don't consider him a fool, sir. He is often more lucid than me. What can you tell me about your brother? If you are searching for a pleasant chat, you should speak with him instead of wasting your time with me. He has always been the more gentle of us. That's it? That's all you can tell me about him? For the time being. True kindness is the most valuable quality, my good sir. At least you both have the same difficulty explaining what you're doing, and for what reason. But is that not a common problem for all mortals? Goodbye. Okay. Um, gut, den hatten wir. Wer ist das? Gut, Leute, da gehe ich. Da gehe ich jetzt noch hin. Wenn ich darunter finde. I cannot enter. Nein. Ich gehe einmal ganz kurz hier rum. Irgendwo muss es da ja reingehen. Genau hier. Oh, was ist das? Okay. Das öffnet wahrscheinlich irgendwas hier. Wahrscheinlich das hier, ne? Okay. Das ist ein Rätsel wahrscheinlich für irgendwann. Ich würde hier mal gucken, was ist das? Das Verbrechen des verlorenen Wissens. Vampire sind gefährlich, tödlich, manchmal bösartig. Das ist eine Tatsache und ich werde sie nicht abstreiten. Doch das ist genau der Grund, weshalb wir begreifen müssen, was sie sind und manchmal wer sie sind, um so ein besseres gegenseitiges Verständnis zu erlangen. Erinnern Sie sich an das Gespräch von Titus Flavius Joseph, was? Jo Josephus? das vor einem der unsrigen 1548 geführt wurde, als er, als er schlussendlich die Kultur in Spanien traf, erinnern Sie sich, wie die vorsichtig gewählten Worte dieses Vampirs unseren, unsere Herzen stets erwärmten, wenn wir sie lasen, denn sie sind besondere Fenster zu einer Vergangenheit, von der wir sonst nur flüchtige Blicke arschen. Titus Flavius Josephus gibt es nicht mehr, seit ihnen die Jäger des Vatikans vor wenigen Wochen vernichtet haben. Mit ihm verschwand auch die freigelegten Schätze seines Wissens über die Säule unserer Zivilisation. Dies ist ein Verbrechen so herzzerreißend wie der Mord eines Unschuldigen durch einen Vampir. Darum ist der Weg, den die Wache von Priven eingeschlagen hat, so verwerflich, wie er wertlos ist. Wenn wir einen ihrer methodischen Jagden auf die alten Vampire Englands veranstalten, anstatt sich ihnen vorsichtig und respektvoll anzunähern, zerstören sie einen Teil unserer gemeinsamen Wurzeln mit den Unsterblichen. Sie ersticken eine gegen... Äh, was? Eine Gelegenheit im Keim. Die Idee einer großen Jagd ist ein Verbrechen, weil sie blindlings Worte und Gedanken töten. Aus, aus dem Brunnen des Wissens trinken von Usche, Tolche, Pri Primas von St. Paulus. Okay, das ist wahrscheinlich der Typ dort. Was ist das? It's locked, all right. Keine Ahnung, was das ist. Jonathan Reed. At last we meet. The cards warned me you would visit tonight. I beg your pardon, sir. Do I know you? Of course you do. Our mutual friend, Dr. Swansea, can't speak highly enough of you. My name is Usher. Usher Talltree. You are the leader of the Brotherhood, are you not? Primate of the Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole, to be precise. I'm really glad we met tonight. I love it when the cards tell me a truth. The cards told you to expect me? Yes, they tell me everything. They've told me of your unquenchable thirst for blood. Be wary, Ekon. I've heard such a rich diet can be bad for the heart. 
Okay, Level 5. May I ask you about the Brotherhood? Of course. But I must warn you that there are some subjects we consider taboo, in spite of our fondness and acceptance of your kind. I know there is no love lost between the Guard of Prewen and the Brotherhood. What caused this rift? It was 1801. The Brotherhood was stronger then, a strength that made them hungry for ever greater power. An argument divided them, and the wound never healed. What was the nature of the disagreement? The problem was that both sides considered themselves the legitimate heirs of the original Brotherhood. We divide up the books, the relics, not always fairly or with consideration. Who founded the Brotherhood? That's precisely the kind of question I cannot answer. It is delicate and may reveal some of our secret traditions. So you're not just a club of academics and scholars? Once upon a time, very long ago, the Brotherhood did more than simply study the vampires. They took actions to eliminate the more ferocious and corrupted. Huh? How do you measure the amount of blood on my hands? I told you. The guards always tell the truth. Well, most of the time. Is it possible to tell me my future? A vampire's fate is much more delicate to read, Doctor. But I can try. <laughs> Warum nicht? All right. Let me hear it. You'll cast your heart into the fire without hesitation, Jonathan. For pain is only for the mortals. How do you... Yeah. Is it vamp? I would rather not... Gut, habe ich das auch abgehakt. Tell me about yourself. What do you do here, besides turning cards in the middle of the night? I'm for most a charlatan. For a few, I'm a vampire. And for you, I'm the primate of St. Paul's Stole. For how long have you been a primate? It was 15 years last year. What do you make of Dr. Swansea? Edgar is a brilliant and dedicated man. A man of his time, sometimes a little muddled, but always looking for new paths and new concepts. Some believe you to be a vampire. Who? The guard of Prewen, who else? For a time, they sent spies to observe my activities, and they even broke into my home to gather proof. Did they steal anything from you? A personal notebook they quickly took to their headquarters. All they had to do is to look at me. I'm aging. What? Better and definite proof that I'm not an immortal. Do you want your notebook back? If you ever find it, I'd be glad to have it back, of course. I do ask one thing, though. Do not read it, Jonathan. Some secrets are not meant to be revealed, even to immortals. Okay. What can you tell me about the neighborhood? I really don't know. I don't often go outside. And when I do, it's usually to quite distant destinations. So you see nothing in the stars for me. You're a poor fortune teller then. Oh, I can tell you many things. But they will only concern you, not the city. For example, I know that you offered your sister the final rest she asked for. Read my fortune then. You have been chosen, Jonathan. I see on you the mark of a strong being, so powerful it needn't even reveal its strength. Do the cards speak of my Mary? No. It's the burning aura of guilt that precedes you everywhere you go. Can you read the cards for me? Are you sure you want to know what they will reveal? Yes, I am. It will cost you 150 shillings. Um, Here is the money. The hunter. A good heart in disguise. A liar willing to help for real. An armed man unable to strike. Can you put okay. the money? Here is the money. The glutton. A man who just eats life as a cake. A righteous ego surprised to fall in love. Okay. Oops. How did you learn about Mary? And spare me the hocus pocus parlor tricks. The truth, now! Swansea told me. 
Don't look at me like that. His task is to observe and gather information about vampires. He had to tell me about Mary. She could have survived as a vampire. If only she had given me a chance to explain. If only I could have found the words. Not all vampires accept their new condition. Since suicide is impossible, you have to find a way to get someone else to relieve the pain. I could have saved her. No, Jonathan. Is there anything you could tell me about Aloysius Dawson? Aloysius Dawson? Yes, of course. We met on several occasions. With time, he got deeper and deeper into the occult. He's not the only one. It's been quite the fashion for several decades. The Golden Dawn, for instance, is just one example. True. Aloysius was a member of the Golden Dawn until 1900. Then his thirst for dark knowledge grew. I'm talking forbidden texts. Readings which blackened his heart. Uh huh. Good. I read the Red River, a song in the dark. Okay, was haben wir jetzt hier Neues bekommen? Okay, das wäre dort. Ja gut, okay, was? Die Büchse der Pandora, okay. Gut, Leute, ich würde sagen, an dieser Stelle machen wir dann Schluss. Und wir sehen uns in der nächsten Folge wieder. Bis dahin, ich bedanke mich fürs Zusehen. Lasst einen Daumen nach oben da. Ciao, Leute. Ja.